Welcome to session four of our 13 units on Hebrew poetry and psalms. I'm David and Raga will be translating. We'll be presenting the insightful curriculum developed and originally presented by Phil Leach, who was with Youth with a Mission through the King's Lodge in Warwickshire, England. هنقوم بنقدم مع بعض المادة التعليمية اللي هو حضرها في الليتش اللي بيخدم مع هيئة شهادة له رسالة في, في إنجلترا في مركز الكينجز لودج. We're continuing to study Hebrew poetry and the Psalms. هنستمر مع بعض ندرس الشعر العبري والمزامير. In our last session, we looked at the element of Hebrew poetry known as semantic parallelism. احنا في المحاضرة اللي فاتت بصينا على جزء عن الشعر العبري وهو بيسمى التوازي اللطيف. Today in our fourth session on Hebrew poetry we'll be exploring chiasm and chiasmic parallelism. لكن النهارده هنكون مع بعض ندرس نوع تاني من أنواع التوازي اسمه التوازي الانعكاسي أو الإشعاعي. First let's review synonymous parallelism for just a few moments. الأول خلينا نراجع مع بعض عن التوازي المتشابه. If you remember, synonymous parallelism in the Bible was identified by Bishop Robert Love. لما تفتكروا في المحاضرة اللي فاتت قلنا إنه موضوع التوازي في الشعر العبري اكتشفه وقدمه لنا الأسقف روبرت لوف. He explored this as one of three types of semantic parallelism. وهو كان قدم ثلاث أنواع من التوازي ال اللفظي. So this type of semantic parallelism he presented as synonymous parallelism. فأول نوع من التوازي اللفظي هو التوازي المتشابه. In synonymous parallelism, the second line of a poetic verse repeats the thought of the first line in different words. فالتوازي المتشابه بيلاقي إن السطر الثاني في الآية الشعرية بتكرر الفكرة موجودة في السطر الأول لكن بكلمات مختلفة. For instance, in Psalms 19:1. على سبيل المثال في مزمور 19 واحد The heavens are telling the glory of God السماوات تحدث بمجد الله corresponds to and the firmament proclaims his handiwork والفلك يخبر بعمل يديه The heavens is like and the firmament فنشوف هنا السماوات المقابل بتاعها الفلك Are telling is like proclaims تحدث المقابل ليها يخبر And the glory of God is like his handiwork وبنشوف مجد الله بيقابل بيقابله عمل يديه. A variation of synonymous parallelism is the chiasm. نوع تاني من أنواع التوازي هو التوازي الإشعاعي أو الإنعكاسي. Some synonymous parallel verses have a chiastic structure in the line phrases. والحقيقة هو نوع برضه من أنواع التوازي المتشابه وبنشوف إنه بعض من الإنعكاسي دوت بيبقى فيه التوازي المتشابه. While others have chiasm between different lines. جزء منها بيبقى ال الانعكاس دوا بيبقى موجود في العبارات أو في وجزء منها بيكون في الصدور. We'll give you an example of both. هنجيكم مثال لنوعين. Psalm 22 verse 10. مزمور 22 عشرة. On you was I cast from my birth. عليك أقيت من الرحم. And from my mother's womb you have been my God. من بطن أمي أنت إلهي. Now, this is actually a couplet that is synonymous. With this, when I eat, uh, On you I was cast is parallel to that second phrase on the next line, you have been my God. From my birth, the last part, is parallel to the first part of the next segment. And from my mother's womb. So what you have is a chiasm. The second line is switched around. The term chiasm comes from the Greek word chi. والكلمة كايزم جاية من الكلمة اليونانية كاي. And that's indicated by an X. وده مع ده يعني بيرمز لي بحرف الإكس. Like a cross. زي الصليب. 
So that's where the term comes from. Another example is Psalm 22, 22. I will tell of your name to my brothers. In the midst of the congregation, I will praise you. Again, this is synonymous parallelism. But it's in a chiastic form. I will tell of your name. Corresponds to I will praise you. To my brothers. In the midst of the congregation. And again, you see that second line is turned around to create that chiastic form. Proverbs 25.6 is another example of chiasm. Do not put yourself forward in the king's presence or in the place of the great take your stand. Do not put yourself forward corresponds with take your stand. And in the king's presence corresponds with in the place of the great. So here we have the typical A, B, B, A structure of chiasm. We sometimes see this in a tristic or a triplet. In Psalm 22, verse 23, we have the whole verse on the screen. But let's break it down. Now we have the whole verse on the screen. Who fear the Lord, praise him. Offspring of Jacob. And you see how we have synonymous parallelism there. But then for the third line, it switched around. You who fear the Lord is parallel to all you offspring of Jacob. Which in these first two lines appear in the first part. While another parallel phrase, all you offspring of Israel. In the third line appears in the last part. And the phrase, praise him. Is synonymous with glorify him. Both appearing in the last part of the first two lines. And synonymous with and stand in awe of him. Which appears first in the third line of that tristic. So you can see the phrases in red correspond to one another. And the phrases in blue correspond to one another. And so the switch which appears in the final line gives us that chiastic form. We also see a chiasm in the lines between the different lines. Each couplet in this form, if you just saw the couplet separately, you would think it was synonymous or formal parallelism. 
بفكر ان هو اما هو توازي متشابه او توازي متناقض But when you see the couplets together, you see there's actually a chiastic structure between them. But when you put the sonnets together, you also see that there's a chiastic structure between them. Let's look at an example. Let's look at an example. Psalm 31, 3. Psalm 31, 3. This would seem to be formal parallelism. And what we've done is we've done a chiastic structure. Where the second line repeats the meaning of the first line. And هو في ال السطر الثاني بيكرر نفس المعنى الموجود في السطر الأولاني. You are indeed my rock and my fortress. لأن سخرتي ومعقلي أنت. For your name's sake, lead me and guide me. من أجل اسمك تهديني وتقودني. And the next verse, verse four. العدد اللي بعد كده هو عدد أربعة. Take me out of the net hidden from me. أخرجني من الشبكة التي خبأوها لي. For you are my refuge. But when we see them together, you are indeed my rock and my fortress. Corresponds to the last line of this couplet. For you are my refuge. For your name's sake, lead me and guide me. من أجل اسمك تهديني وتقودني. Corresponds to take me out of the net hidden for me. بمرتبة بإخرجني من الشبكة التي خبأوها لي. And so when we see these two couplets together, فلما بنشوف السنائيتين دول مع بعض, we have a typical chiastic structure. بيبقى بنشوف قدامنا تركيب شكل تركيبي عبارة عن توازي إنعكاسي. An A B B A form. ألف ب Another example is Psalm 51, verse 1. Again, you have the two couplets of formal parallelism. Have mercy on me, O God. Relates to the second line of the couplet. Blot out my transgressions. According to your steadfast love, corresponds to according to your abundant mercy. And so again, we have this A, B, B, A structure. A chiastic form here. In Hebrew poetry, as you look at either the phrases in lines or the lines themselves, you can see the structure. Isaiah 10, verse 6, is another classic example of the chiasm. Looking at verse 10, Make the heart of this people fat. And their ears heavy. And shut their eyes. You can see that mirror image of the typical chiasm. And again, in the second part of verse 10, Lest they see with their eyes. And hear with their ears. And understand with their hearts. And turn and be healed. You can see the parallel references to different parts of the body. And the chiastic form that is the effect of each half of the verse being the opposite. The first half, meaning a closing off and a rejection. And the second half, meaning receptivity and a blessing. Looking at our study symbols, chiasm or chiastic parallelism, for the phrases, just using an X. For مع العبارات بنستخدم الحرف اللي في الإنجليزي اللي هو X. 
or for the lines using the common letters for showing a chiasm. A, B, C, D, A. ألف به جيم بيت ألف. Or whatever is needed. أو أيا كانت شكل الحروف المستخدمة. Thank you for investing your time to learn about chiasm and chiasmic parallelism with us. شكرا عشان قضيت وقت تسمعوا معانا المحاضرة اللي بتتكلم عن التوازي الإنفكاسي أو الإشعاعي. Please join our next session. من فضلك تعال اسمع المحاضرة اللي بعد كده. When we'll take a look at staircase and emblematic parallelism. اللي هنتكلم فيها عن التوازي السلمي والتوازي الرمزي.